Welcome to the fascinating world of our celestial neighbor, Sol, the star that lights up our world and powers our planet. Get ready to delve into the mysteries of this incredible body and discover the secrets which lie within its fiery heart. From its origins in composition to the role in the solar system and its eventual fate, we'll take you on a journey through the life and death of this mesmerizing star. So sit back, relax, and let's begin our journey into the heart of Sol. The dazzling orb of Sol has undergone a metamorphosis, expanding and condensing until it reached a state of density and heat that ignited a fusion reaction. It's believed that one or more supernovae may have sparked this reaction with Sol continuing to fuel it. This theory is further reinforced by the presence of heavier elements, such as gold, within the solar system. Sol is not just a yellow dwarf star, as it emits light of all wavelengths, making it appear white. It is also referred to as a G-type mean sequence star, G2V, and is primarily composed of hydrogen and helium, with 73% being hydrogen and 25% being helium. The remaining 2% is a mixture of oxygen, carbon, iron, neon, and nitrogen. You may already know that the sun is powered by fusion, but do you know the difference between fusion and fission? I'll explain that later. The sun is the only star in the solar system and boasts an impressive volume of 1.3 million times that of Earth, yet weighs 330,000 times more. It makes up 99.86% of the system's mass, making it the largest and heaviest body in the solar system. To put that into perspective, if you picked a random kilogram, there is a 99.86% chance that it would come from the sun. It has a diameter of 1.4 million kilometers, or 109 times that of Earth. Fun fact, the word solar comes from the word Sol, the name of our sun. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video so far. Your engagement, whether it is a subscription, like, or comment, is truly appreciated and helps me continue producing high-quality content. Your support not only provides encouragement, but also demonstrates that there is an interest in this type of content, which inspires me to push forward and create even more. I am truly grateful for your contribution and thank you in advance for your continued support. Anyways, Sol is 150 million kilometers away from Earth, or one astronomical unit. It radiates incandescent light as the result of the intense heat generated by fusing 600 million tons or 600 billion kilograms of hydrogen into helium every second. This process releases massive amounts of energy, equivalent to turning 4 million tons of matter into energy per second. As the sun is so large, it takes between 10,000 and 170,000 years for the energy to reach the surface. As the sun continues to fuse hydrogen into helium, at some point it will no longer be in hydrostatic equilibrium meaning the gravitational force will be stronger than the force trying to expand the sun. The core will become denser and the outer layers will expand, engulfing the planets Mercury and Venus and making Earth uninhabitable. Eventually, the sun will turn into a red giant. But don't worry, this won't happen for another 5 billion years. The denser core will permit helium fusion, but only for a relatively brief period. Then, quickly, the sun will have no means of creating energy. The sun will release its outer layers and become a white dwarf, still emitting light from the remaining heat. It will eventually turn into a brown dwarf, a star that doesn't produce any light. As a white dwarf, its density will increase, but its mass will decrease due to the loss of its outer layers. From our earthly vantage point, the sun, or soul, may seem like a static, unchanging entity, but in reality it's a vibrant and dynamic star, eternally shifting its energy output in a mesmerizing 11-year cycle. This cyclical dance affects not only the north and south poles, so causing them to flip every 11 years, but also has far-reached implications for the cosmos. Despite its massive size, we didn't cover that there are stars the dwarf soul by up to 100 times. And the cosmos is still full of surprises, as many solar systems boast multiple stars, resulting in even more colossal combined masses. It is crucial that we study our own star to unlock the secrets of similar celestial bodies. We know that soul fuses hydrogen into helium, but for this process to occur, 
the conditions must be just right, with the hottest part of the sun being at the core. The core's temperature reaches a scorching 15 million degrees Celsius, or 27 degrees Fahrenheit. But don't let the term surface fool you. The photosphere is still a seething plasma, despite being relatively cool at 5,500 degrees Celsius, or 10,000 degrees Fahrenheit. One of the most intriguing mysteries of Sol is that as you travel upward into its atmosphere, or corona, temperatures actually increase, making the atmosphere hotter than the so-called surface. The corona's highest temperature is a staggering 2 million degrees Celsius, or 3.5 million degrees Fahrenheit, compared to the photosphere's 5,500 degrees Celsius, or 10,000 degrees Fahrenheit. This means that the corona is a staggering 364 times hotter than the photosphere, almost the amount of days in a year. The sun's Latin name is Sol, and many sun-related things go by the name Helios. The word sun comes from the Old English word sun, spelled S-U-N-N-E, with similar words used in other languages such as Dutch's sun and German's sun. It takes Sol around 25.05 days to rotate on its axis, or a solar day, resulting in a ro rotational velocity of almost 2 km per second at the solar equator. However, since Sol is not a solid object, but a plasma, different parts of it rotate at different speeds. Due to this, near the poles, a single day is 35 of our days. Sol boasts an absolute magnitude of 4.83 and is considered a population 1 star because it's rich in heavier elements. It resides in an area called the Orion Spur of the Sagittarius Arm and orbits the center of the galaxy, which is a black hole. The sun moves at an average velocity of 720,000 km per hour, or around 200 km per second, around the center of our galaxy. For, for comparison, Earth travels at 30 km per second. In summary, Sol is an endlessly fascinating and mysterious entity, its secrets waiting to be unlocked. From the flipping of its poles to the scorching temperatures of its corona, Every aspect of the celestial body is a marvel to behold. And as we delve deeper into our understandings of f fusion and fission, we were given a glimpse of, into the workings of the universe itself. And now you need to learn about our own planet by clicking on the left. And I can guarantee you that you don't know much about it. For example, did you know that it is the densest planet? Or it stays not 24 hours? And if you aren't interested in that, you're sure to enjoy the video on the right.